What's going on guys? Pale Panda here and today I'm going to show you how to get a truck in Astroneer. You've seen all these cool videos of people driving trucks around. How did they get the truck? Well today I'm going to show you how to get the truck. So what you are going to need is a research facility which is right here and you can check out one of my other videos. It'll show you how to get a research facility if you do not know how. But once you have a research facility, all you have to do is continually bring things back to your research facility. Eventually, you will unlock the feature. It allows you to build a truck. There's no set spot. There's not like the secret hiding spot of where the, the research item is for the truck. It's just, you kind of just get lucky. I was fortunate enough to unlock a truck really early on, but I have yet to build one because I'm going to build it for you guys. So, now once you've unlocked the truck through the research facility, you now go to your little engineering bay where you can build vehicles and you can as you can see we now can build the shuttle the rover and a truck now to build a truck you need aluminum but in order to have aluminum you have to melt down aluminum ore I know they just make it so complicated so we're gonna grab some aluminum ore we're gonna go over here Probably could make this a little easier, but it'll work. So there, smelt through some aluminum ore. I think we have a block of aluminum right here. We'll set the one block up there. We got another block right there. So we need two more. Let's uh, let's do this. I don't know, can we do two at once? I'm not sure, let's find out. Oh, there's a block, nice. All right, you can't do two blocks at once. All right, there's one block. There's two blocks. We could have actually done all four at one time for the same amount of power. Oops, lesson learned. All right. So now we have four blocks of aluminum. We can now construct a truck. So the moment we've all been waiting for, let's click it. Look at that truck being constructed. It's going to use all your power up to construct the truck. Look at that. We have a truck. So what do you do once you have a truck? Ooh, nice look at that see the power transferring over from our solar panel our solar panel is creating energy which is then powering this up how cool is that once this is powered up it will probably power the truck up right after let's find out oh look at that how cool is that so one thing people I think is a mistake that people are doing is they're putting a seat on through this engineering bay I recommend not doing that I recommend going to the printer that of course you have already. So you go to the printer and you build a seat here. So put a spot in here, put a spot in here and build a seat. The reason I say to do that is because if you build a seat through here, you can't remove it. You might wanna reconfigure where your seats are later. So you grab a removable seat, bring it over here and just pop it on. Look at that, we already have a seat. And now we can move the seat around if we choose. We can get rid of the seat. I'll show you in later videos why we would ever move a seat or get rid of a seat. But for now, we have a truck. Now let's at least drive around and show you. What are the advantages of a truck? Well, one, it does feel a little bit faster. The tires are bigger. It looks cooler. It, has, it stores more power, which who doesn't like more power? But also, most importantly, it has more room. So I'm able to put multiple storage facilities on here. I can... I can transport multiple uh, uh, research items. Um, I can tow things, which I'll show you later on. That's pretty cool. But I think that covers everything for the truck. You'll see more of the truck in some of my other videos. And if you guys, oh my goodness, I almost crashed. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button. There's gonna be so much Astro, Astro Near footage on this channel. So be sure to check it out. We have tons of other videos. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Pale Panda signing out. See you next time.